what are you selling today? I know many people will get surprised by this question because that is a question we always ask hookers. What do you have today? But basically almost all of us are hookers in one way or the other because we sell things. And there is nothing wrong with selling any product. Because the nature of human beings is to exchange products. And today, the medium of exchange is money. In the olden days, I would give you maize and then you give me beans. And that would be trade. Human beings naturally trade. And this has not started in the 20th century. No, this has always been there. You don't have everything that you want at your disposal. So the only thing that you can do is to exchange what you have with what you don't have. There is absolutely nothing wrong in selling things, in being a hawker. You may not agree with me, but basically every single person who sells any product is a hawker. Even though hawking is at different levels. There are those people who sell one item. You can be selling cups, or you can be selling a farm, or you can be selling a vehicle, or you can be selling an aeroplane. Selling is selling, irrespective of what you are selling. And I always tell people, don't just sit for heaven's sake, sell something. Because there is somebody who needs what you have. People don't have all the things that they would want, and they rely on others to provide them with the things that they want. I have always sold things. I have sold so many products in my lifetime that I have lost count. And this I did not start yesterday. I did not start last year. I started selling things when I was in primary school. Just imagine. And this is since the time when I discovered that I can sell a product and make some money. And you know that money makes the world move. Whether you are a small child, whether you are grown up, it doesn't matter. When you are a small child, there are those things that you require. You want to eat a sweet, you want a pencil, you want something. Which, of course, your parents are not going to give you. Your parents are going to deny you. So in my case, what did I do? I decided to become an entrepreneurial. This does not mean that I am unique in any way. I know many of us, or many of you, have done exactly the same thing. Those things that we were selling, or those things that we are still selling today, they are called products. And they are very many products that one can sell. If you look around where you are, you can see very many things. And every single item or a product that you can see with your eyes, somebody sold it to you. There is somebody somewhere who sold that particular product. So every single product that you will ever see, somebody did the selling. And there are people who are still selling the same products. There is no single product in the world that is sold by only one person. Even if that is happening very soon, someone else will come with a product similar to the same product and it is going to have the same functions. Very soon, someone will come with a product very similar to that particular product. And in most cases, they have the same functions. So at any one time, whatever you are selling, there is one thing that you need to bear in mind, that there is somebody else who is selling exactly the same product, or a product very similar to what you are selling. And though there are very many products in the world to sell, most times, one of the biggest problems that we have is to decide exactly what we are going to sell. Even today, after selling so many products, I still find it very difficult to decide on exactly what I want to sell. Because all products are not the same. 
and they are very good products. That one is oil cautions. I have sold so many products in my life, like I've told you, since the day I discovered that I can make some money. Just imagine, most of the money that has come into our lives, we sold something, some product. I can remember that uh, most of the things that I've sold are basically what almost everyone sells. I've never sold anything illegal. I've always sold legal things. I'm a law abiding citizen. For example, I've sold stationery, I've sold goods, I've sold cows, I've sold clothes, cabbage, tomatoes. Most of the things that I've done can meet the definition of a hustler. But after selling all those things, today I only sell two products ebooks and services. I don't sell anything else. Ebooks and services and the services are training online and in person and consultancy. I don't sell anything else. Someone may ask why you only sell these two things. Because life is like a sieve. You start from the broad and then as time goes by you narrow and focus. Someone may be asking, what do you mean by focus? This is what I mean by focus. Whatever products that you pick, whether it is one product, two products, or three products, or whatever number, focus on those particular products for the time being and find out whether you can be able to make money from them or not. I know many times we have been told, do one or two things, but sometimes that's not possible, especially when you are new to the business. You need to find out which particular products that you can be able to sell. And one product may not give you the kind of information that you want. You need to try several products and finally you settle down on one or two products. I remember, like I told you, I've sold very many products. But at the end of the day, I picked only two products that I sell. This did not happen in one day, two days, one year, two years. In actual fact, it took more than 20 years for me to be able to focus on those particular two products. So it does not matter how long it is going to take, but just pick the products that you are going to sell. And when you pick the products, you focus on selling those particular products. Let me ask you again, what product are you selling today? In case you are not selling any product today, what can you sell? given the chance to do the selling. You need to ask yourself that question. Remember, there are very many products in this world. But to make it easy for you, we are going to categorize all the products into four groups. Every single product in this world can fit in any of these four groups. I'm talking about the products that are there currently. You know, the product market is very dynamic. New products are being introduced every single day, but currently we can group all products into four groups. Number one is goods, number two, services, number three, digital products, number four, software. Those are the four groups. We trust that you are learning from the content so far. And for those who have not subscribed, remember to subscribe to get notified whenever we upload. So go ahead and hit the subscription button. Let us examine each of the groups. Number one, let us start with goods. What are goods? Goods are tangible. And this means that we can see them, we can touch them, we can feel them. Take a pen or a spoon or a plate. Those are examples of goods. You can see with your eyes, you can touch it, and you can feel it. Goods can be sold in physical stores. You can open a shop where you are going to sell them. And this can either be in a designated commercial area, for example, in a shopping mall, or you can do it in a residential area. 
And if you do it in a residential area, it can either be in a house that you own or a house that you are renting. Today, there are very many people who are selling goods from their houses. For example, if you are selling clothes or household products, you can sell those from your house. You can convert one of the rooms, one of the bedrooms, into a store. I have actually visited very many people in their houses and I have bought clothes from people's houses. And the stores were in their bedrooms. One of the bedrooms is converted into, into a store and they do the business from there. The beauty of this is that you can also have an online store. And an online store, you can either have a website or you can have presence in any of the social media platforms. You can have a store on WhatsApp. And this is just putting a link there. You are displaying what you are selling. And then you drive people to wherever the goods are. You can have pictures of the clothes that you are selling or anything else that you are selling on WhatsApp business. You can also have it on Facebook. You can display on Twitter. You can put pictures on Instagram. There are very many places where you can put pictures of whatever you are selling. You put the description, the price, and then you direct the people how to buy and you tell them how you are going to deliver the products. That is the beauty of e-commerce today. That you don't have to be at the town center to do business. As long as as you have a store wherever it is and you have delivery system and today there are very many people who can deliver your goods or your products to whomever you want so once the customers have placed an order you are going to facilitate the delivery and that you can either do yourself or you can outsource that for example, to the border border riders, they can do the delivery for you. You only need to identify one or two or three who can be doing the delivery for you. They are going to be in business and you're going to be in business. And everybody is going to be happy. Some of the examples of goods are pen, paper, cups, spoons, seats, tables, TVs. There are very many products that are goods. So if you are complaining that you don't have anything to sell, there are so many things that you can sell. And you can buy goods from wherever. You can go to a shop. You look at the goods that are being sold, including clothes. You go to a shop, you look at the goods that are being sold. Pick a few of them and then you go and sell. You add a margin and sell. I remember one time when I was still working, and we would go to Biashara Street. We go to the shops in Biashara Street and we'd buy products from there. We'd buy goods from there. Seat covers, cushions. And we'd actually go to the office and sell. There is a day I went and I bought 10 pairs of bed sheets from Biashara Street. I went to the office and I told everybody, I have bed sheets that I'm selling. And I sold all of them. So one of the things that you need to do is you need to think out of the box. You know, there are many things that you can sell. And don't tell me that there's no market. This world has more than 8 billion people. And those more than 8 billion people, they are all your potential customers. So don't just sit and say, oh, there is no market. What am I going to sell? There are so many things to sell. There are more things to sell in this world than the human beings. Do not just sit down and say you have nothing to sell and there's no one to buy. You are the only person, you are the missing link to take the product to the buyer. You are not doing your work. The second type of product is services and services are intangible. You cannot see a service with your eyes, you cannot touch a service and you cannot feel a service. Look aloud where you are. There are many things that are being done. For example, maybe if you're in the house, there's electricity. There is a service 
that is being provided for you to get that electricity. When you're talking about services, we see results of what is happening, but we don't see what is being done. That is why we say that services are intangible. You cannot see, you cannot touch, you cannot feel. Apart from electricity, there are very many services. For example, legal services, consultancy services, advisory services, advertising services, the adverts that you see on your telly, employment services. Check out our video on employment and many other services. Where can we sell our services? There are two places. You can do it online and you can also do it offline. If you decide to do it offline, you can open an office for example, in a designated commercial area or in a residential house that you own or that is owned by others, and you can sell the services from there. You can also sell your services online, for example, in your website or on your website, where you are going to provide details of the service and your contact, and then in case any customer contacts you, you are going to provide the services. I know many people say, what services am I going to provide? There are so many things that you know. And the things that you know are some of the services that you can provide. For example, you can teach people how to cook. That's a service. You can decide to clean people's houses. That's a service. You can decide to start connecting employees and employers. That's a service. You can decide to start helping people advertise on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, wherever else. That's a service. You can also decide to start creating content for people on the social media or in the social media. That's a service. So there are very many places where you can sell a service. I remember recently a young girl called me and she was asking me, where am I going to sell my services? There are so many places where you can sell your services. And if you don't know, go to YouTube. Everything you would ever want to learn is there on YouTube. So if you are wondering where you are going to start selling your services, you have contacts on your phone, you have followers on social media, that is where you start. Those are people who know you. Sometimes it's very difficult to sell services to people who don't know you. You start with the people who know you. Let us move to the third product. And these are digital products. Digital products, we can see them, but we cannot touch them, and we cannot feel them. And digital products are basically internet products, for example, e-books, e-courses, online music, and many others. You can see the music playing. You can see the movements as the sound is moving up and down. You can see an e-book, but you cannot touch it and you cannot feel it. You can see the title of a course, you can listen to the course, but you cannot touch the course and you cannot feel the course. Most digital products are sold online. They are sold and delivered online. So it's not only a question of selling. Delivery is also online, but you can have an offline store but access is through online. You can actually open a store, sell the products from the store, but the delivery is going to be online. There are very many products that are digital products, and the key thing is that they are downloadables. You can download a digital product. 
So we have said you can sell them online and also offline. I know someone is asking, where am I going to get digital products from? There are two sources. You can either create the digital products or you can buy to resell. I know very many people are uncomfortable to buy digital products. But let me ask you, you can go out of your way and buy maize to sell. You are not the producer of the maize. You can buy beans to sell. You can buy clothing to sell. You are not the one who stitched the dress, but you buy it to go and sell. It is the same thing with digital products. The only thing you need is a license to sell the product. So you can go out of your way, buy the products, and then you sell. If you cannot create the products and you don't want to buy uh, ready-made products to sell, you can also have people produce the products for you and then you go and sell. Again, I know some people are very uncomfortable. I, for one, I don't do it. I, I light all my digital products. But you can hire people to light for you books. Look, the booksellers, you know, the physical booksellers, are they the ones who write those books? They are not. Even the book publishers, most of them do not have in-house writers. They actually outsource. And this is the beauty of doing business today. You can outsource making of any product and then you sell. You don't have to sit down and write a book. You don't. You can outsource that. Any product that you can ever think about. You can do that. Category number four is software. And software enables things to be done faster and at a low price. For example, we see the results of what is happening. For example, software drives machines and enables communication. And a good example is an accounting software. It will enable us to keep books of accounting or our mobile phones. Mobile phones are operated using software. You cannot see it, but that software inside our mobile phones enables us to communicate. And even many vehicles today, they have software. That is why they are able to move. Where are you going to get software to sell? You can buy software to resell, or you can develop your own software, or you can outsource developing of the software. And the software, you are going to sell it online, on your website, or other people's websites, or social media platforms. You can also open an office and sell from the office, but in most cases, especially today, software access is online. For example, most of the accounting packages today, you can be able to access them online. And when you access them online, it means that you don't have to download them to your computer, where they are going to take a lot of space. You are going to access them online, where they are hosted by the person who is selling to you. Up to this point, you know the kind of products that you can sell. We have said you can sell goods, you can sell services, you can sell digital products, or you can sell software. You need to ask yourself, whose products to sell any of those four products you don't have to own any of them you can sell on behalf of others if you want to learn how to sell other people's products and especially as an affiliate get a copy of an information product we have and we have put the link in the description so that is the starting point you don't have to struggle we have everything that you would want so which are the best products to sell? I know someone is asking. Is it goods? Is it services? Is it digital products? Or is it software? Let me say this. One man's meat is another man's poison. Or one woman's meat is another woman's poison. Your best product depends on you. It is actually a very personal decision. Because all products have benefits and all products have challenges, they have risks. It highly depends on you. 
what do you want? And that is why I advise people, don't just pick a product. No. You can pick several. Take your time. Don't put all your money into a product. You can test. I know sometimes it's very difficult. You want to make money now. You don't want to wait for tomorrow. But let me tell you. You would rather wait for that tomorrow and you still have your money. Because everybody wants to sell products in the market. Your suppliers want to offload products to you. And probably they know very well that those products are not selling. And they are going to take your money. So take your time, test the products, do your research, and then you start selling. I know I've said every product can give you money. That is true. But there are people who can sell certain things and others can sell other things. A good example. There are those people who can go and sell charcoal and make a lot of money. There are those people who can go and sell petrol and make a lot of money. If you put the person who is selling petrol, you give them charcoal to sell, they may not be able to sell even one container of charcoal. If you put the person who is selling charcoal, you put them in a petrol station, they may not be able to sell that well. So everybody has something to sell. You only need to identify what is it that you are good at. What is it that you can sell? And I can tell you there are very many things that you can sell. What is the conclusion of what we have been discussing for more than 20 minutes? On every single thing that can be sold in this world can fall into any of these four groups goods, services, digital products, or software. In the last couple of minutes, we have been discussing about products to take to the market. We already know that there are basically four products that you can take to the market, and these are goods, services, digital products, and software. The question is, what is the way forward? Many times we have said in this channel that it is not enough for you to learn all the things that we are talking about and not take action. You need to take action, otherwise you will have wasted your time. The first thing that you need to do is list all the products that you wish to sell. That is the first step. Once you do that, the next thing that you need to do is to find out about those specific products. What are the prices? How are you going to get delivery of the products? Where are you going to sell the products? And how are you going to sell the products? And also, how are you going to deliver the products and the price that you're going to charge? And this will give you a good idea whether you need to get involved selling those particular products or not. Once you do that, you can pick two or three products and these are the best products from the list of the products that you had already picked. The next thing that you need to do is to start selling the products. You buy the products, you market the products, you deliver the products. So that is the way forward. I hope and trust that you're going to be able to pick one or two products that you can be able to sell. It is important to remember that different people can sell different products. Some people are good at selling certain products, while others are good at selling other products. So it's upon you to figure out which is the best product for you. There is no product that cannot give you money. It highly depends on you. If you are able to pick the right product, then you are going to be happy. But if you pick the wrong product, Again, you are not going to be happy. You are going to incur losses. And it is not good to incur losses when you are doing business. We all hope to make money when we start doing business. So go ahead and pick the products that you would wish to sell. Amongst those products, there is one product that is the best product for you. If there is any product that you are selling today, 
please let us know in the comment. And if you are not selling a product, but you are going to pick a product to start selling, also let us know in the comment. What product are you selling? What product are you going to sell? Let us know in the comments and remember to subscribe. Let us continue learning how we can grow our businesses and also make money and remember to pay our taxes. Let us sell products and make money because money makes the world move. Your presenter has been Dr. Wakabuyu WK. Till next session, stay well.